and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is longest sub array with some k which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two parameters first one is an array arr of integer type and another one is the k of integer type as well. okay all right and now what we have to do so basically our task is to find the length of longest subarray where the sum of its element is equal to given value k okay all right let me quickly explain this so the first point first thing which you should know is what is subarray okay so basically subarray is a part a continuous part of an array okay continuous part of an array which basically means suppose this is a one subarray one five to seven one is one subarray ten five two is one subarray okay and uh, 7 1 minus 10 is one subarray but if we i want to take 5 2 and then this one into one subarray it is not a subarray because it is not continuous it is not continuous we are leaving this 7 so if we want to take 5 2 and 1 into a subarray we have to take this 7 as well so 5 2 7 1 this is one subarray okay all right i hope this will be very clear what is subarray so basically we have to return the longest subarray whose sum is equal to k very very simple it is basically let's suppose uh, there are many subarrays whose sum is equal to k so we have to return the length of that subarray whose length is maximum okay maximum possible length of subarray such that its sum is equal to k okay all right so we have to basically return the length all right i think the problem statement is pretty simple and it will be clear to you so let's think of approach what we can do so we will start with the brute force approach brute force approach is pretty simple what i will do i will use two for loops nested inside one another and i will check let's suppose one uh, is this at this point 10 and i will uh, i i j will be starting from here 5 to 7 one and whenever i will get some length okay whenever i will get some let's say sub array sum whose sum is equal to k i will try to get the length of that subarray and if my length is greater than the current greatest so i will update my current answer like the greatest length i have got till this point and we have to return that longest subarray okay so this is one problem which is with one approach which is also the brute force but the issue here is the time complexity of this approach will be big o of n square and we will see the constraints here so the constraints are basically arr dot size can be as greater as 10 raised to the power 5 okay all right so 10 raised to the power 5 and n square which will result me in 10 raised to the power 10 and it will give me time limit exceed okay it will give me t l e so we have to optimize our approach okay all right how can we optimize our approach so uh, guys if you are following my videos so you know that this is a very very common interview problem and we have already solved a lot of problems with same type okay all right so these these problems are based on one fundamental uh, algorithm one fundamental topic so let me tell you that let's suppose there are few elements uh, in this way there are many elements i'm not writing it so let's suppose this okay all right if at any point let's suppose i am at this point at this point the sum is equal to x plus k okay all right x can be any variable and k is basically our k k is target okay all right and till this point the sum till this point uh, from starting till this point the sum is equal to x okay so what will be the sum of this subarray what will be the sum of this subarray this subarray sum will be k isn't this i think this is very simple mathematics and it's correct as well if the sum till this point is x sum of this is k so total sum till this point will be x plus k okay all right so now one very very important thing is look whenever i will be let's suppose i'm iterating this whole array and i'm reaching till this point so i can have my current sum let's say my current sum will be till this point okay all right uh, let me quickly delete all these things as well so basically let's suppose i am iterating this whole array and i'm currently at this point so i will have my current sum which is equal to the sum of all elements till this point okay which is can be x plus k okay now my k look x plus k i can easily get 
my k is constant it is not changing so we have to check we have to check whether there is any x present in my array in like whether there is any x sum which i have iterated till now or not okay let me quickly um, break down it more so let's suppose x plus k remove it let's remove x plus k so we will simply say ki yaar till this let's suppose my k is equal to 15 okay let's suppose my k is equal to 15 okay and my this much sum is equal to let's suppose 32 okay k is equal to 15 so i will check whether there is any sub array sum from starting whose sum is equal to my current sum that is 32 minus k which is equal to 15 and what will be 17 okay so i will check in my array from very starting ki till the at any point is there any sub array whose sum is equal to 70 if yes so let's suppose till this point sum is equal to 70 okay total sum till this point is 32 so what is the sum of this much this much sum is equal to my k okay so we have broken the broken this problem down and uh, very very simple it is now current sum i can always have okay k is equal to 15 it's constant so i have to just check at any at every point if i if i have any sum let's starting from very starting whose sum is equal to current sum minus k if it is i will check the length and we will update it okay so i think the approach will be very very clear to you now let's take one example as well and dry run this how are we going to do this do this how are we going to check whether x which is current sum minus k is present or not we can simply use a hash map for this and we will be updating so look my k will be the sum at any point and my value will be the starting point of that my value will be the starting point uh, let's say ending point of that sum okay why i am doing that let me tell you as well so let's quickly dry run this once so dry run basically means before the code i'm just explaining it so let's suppose i have few variables first one is my answer which i will return it will be the longest length of sub array okay answer is equal to 0 and uh, current sum uh let's take a current sum as well which is also equal to 0 at this point okay and my map okay map and uh, currently my sum is equal to 0 currently my sum is equal to 0 and i am a minus 1 in value i have added i will tell you that as well why okay all right so let's quickly do first of all 10 okay so i will update my current sum to 10 and uh my map in map current sum is 10 so i will add ki yaar i got 10 sum at zero index okay all right and after that i will also check ki if 10 which was my current sum minus k is present or not okay so it is not present till now so no issues uh, let me write the condition as well which is current sum minus k i will every time check if it is present or not okay now i will move to 5 i will move to 5 okay so 5 my current sum will be now equal to 15 okay and i will check in map if my current sum which is 15 minus k minus k which is uh, 15 as well which is equal to 0 at this point so is 0 present in map yes 0 is present okay which whose index is minus 1 so my current answer will be updated with answer comma what answer is like say i have to get the maximum na so i will update my answer will be math dot max but let's say maximum between current answer and whatever sub array sum i am get uh, sub array length i am currently getting which will be equal to current i uh, which is 1 minus and whatever value i am getting so it will be minus minus plus 1 which will be equal to 2 so i will update my answer to 2 okay uh, let me what i have done this so my current answer will be of 2 length okay all right so i will check ki yaar in 15 current sum is also not present in map let's put it and uh, with index 1 okay all right now i will move to this two okay so total sum at this point will be what total sum at this point will be 17 and 17 is also not present so i will add 17 as well uh, let's say 17 is added and its index is basically what index is basically 2 okay all right again i will move to 7 again i got this 7 so total sum now will be equal to 7 to 9 and it is i think equal to 24 okay 24 so is current sum 24 minus k which is equal to 
15 24 minus 15 is equal to 9 is 9 present no 9 is not present okay so simply add my current sum which is equal to 24 and it is ending at third index okay all right moving on again i get this one okay let me quickly delete this so that and now i move to this one okay i will update my current sum to be equal to 25 okay and now i will check i will map current sum 25 minus k 15 which is equal to 10 10 present or not yes 10 is present 10 is present and its value is zero so i will check my update my answer to math dot max of answer current answer which is 2 comma uh, whatever index i am at 1 index 1 is 0 1 2 3 4 4 index minus map value of current minus k which is equal to 0 4 minus 0 which is equal to 4 so i have to update my answer to 4 okay so look look i got uh, let me tell you let me tell you one thing so answer is equal to 4 but look now how are we getting answer is equal to 4 which means yeah till this point till this point my sum is equal to 25 okay and uh, my k is equal to 15 so i will check whether there is an array from starting whose sum is equal to 10 yes there is an array which is ending at zero index which means till this point the sum is equal to 10 and the, till this point sum is equal to 25 so what will be the sum of this what will be the sum of this this will be equal to k which is equal to 15 okay so i will have got the length as well so i will update the length i think it is very very simple now and i will also do the same thing for minus 10 so when i will go to minus 10 my current sum will now be equal to 15 again okay will be now equal to 15 again okay so again i will check current sum which is 15 minus k which is 15 again it is equal to 0 so 0 is present yes with index minus 1 so now again i will have to update my answer which is equal to my current index at minus 10 which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 minus map dot value of current minus k which is minus 1 minus minus plus is equal to 6 so which is greater than answer my answer will be updated to 6 okay all right so in this way we are going to get our answer i think i've already explained this uh, too much and it will be crystal clear to you now and when i will write the code of it it will be let's say very very clear so let's quickly write the code but before that i want to tell why i am writing this zero comma minus one so because look uh, if i will not write it if i will not write it let me delete all these things if i will not write key zero comma minus one i will not add an initial value so the issue will be ki yaar let's suppose uh, i'm at this point okay my current length is my current sum is 15 target is also 15 so how will i know because in map i'm always checking in map current minus k is present or not but in map 15 minus 15 which is equal to 0 0 is not present so i will not be able to take this sub array but i have to take this sub array so to uh, take this subarray i have to make it as minus one and it will always work as well okay because uh, i'm currently at this point very very starting before even iterating over the array i'm at this point and till that point i am at let's say at minus one point and sum is also equal to zero so it's working so we are doing this as a hack or any way you can say okay all right let's quickly see the code as well code is very simple and i will request you guys to please subscribe the channel and like the video if you have loved this explanation and it's clear to you okay it will like it will not take anything from you but it will highly motivate me so please comment down as well your feedbacks whether it's clear or you to you or not let's quickly start the code first of all sum let me write current sum till that point it is equal to zero and my answer is also equal to zero i will take a map map of integer let's name it as mp is equal to hash map and after that very very simple it is i will simply start iterating over this whole array and uh, i will update my current sum plus is equal to arr of i okay and uh, after that what i will do i will check if map contains what current sum minus k if map contains this it means i can have one answer and i will simply check if this length if its length current length and uh, my answer with whoever will be greater i will take that so math dot max of current answer and this new sub array length new sub array length will be what current index which is i minus mp dot get 
current sum minus k which is let's say the sum i am looking for i think this point is very very clear we have already done that so in this way i will always update my answer if i am getting a greater one and after that what i will do i have to also add in map my current sum so i will only add if that sum is not present okay so mp dot put if absent which means current sum uh, and it's it's at index i okay which means ki yaar, if current sum is not present so i will update the current sum with i index okay but if current sum is present so i will not update it why because let's suppose till this point also the sum is x okay and till this point also the sum is x so whichever which one i will take the early one because if i will take this early sub array then only my sub array will be longest but if i will take this much sub array my array will not be longest so i have to take the early one so to early, take the early one don't update it if it is already present so it will work and after that what i will do i will simply return my answer i think it will work absolutely so let's quickly compile this once and after that i will submit if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video it's giving some error okay okay so i've told you i have to add um, zero with the minus one index so let me add that after here mp dot put current sum is zero and i'm at minus one index okay so now let's quickly compile this and i think it will get accepted now okay let's submit this direct now and if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video comment down your feedbacks it will highly motivate me and i'm uploading daily videos so you don't want to miss that so it's getting accepted i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye